And is uh, considering taking a second look at NSA's wiretapping authority. Can you give us your perspective on that? Yeah, they are. In fact, uh, you know, it's kind of the get out of town uh, time here in Washington. We are looking at the NSA. It's in the Senate right now. We already acted in the House. But the bottom line is we have to make sure that we are protecting the American people, especially from the terrorist threat, which we have to take very seriously now. At the same time, protect the, uh, the rights, the civil liberties of American citizens. And that's what the Senate is trying to deal with right now. You just mentioned it, Congressman. Uh, a lot of people are thinking about national security. In terms of defeating ISIS, ISIS what do you think we need to do? Well, I, I think we first of all have to have a plan, and I think that's been one of the inadequacies of this administration. They've kind of stumbled all over the place from calling ISIS the JV team to saying that they're contained, and just a couple of days later we see, you know, the attack on, on Paris and, and most recently in San Bernardino. And there was even, you know, an attempt to kind of say this was, well, workplace violence or it's just the fault of people who own guns, when clearly there's a radical Islamist terrorist threat that has to be taken seriously not just here in this country, but I think we have to take the battle to the enemy uh, overseas. It doesn't mean that we need huge numbers of U.S. troops on the ground, but we do need to have people there leading uh, the effort uh, against ISIS to defeat them. So I think if we defeat them over there, it's much less likely uh, that they will uh, attack us here on American soil. Well, let's take a big shift in gears here and talk shopping locally. You're encouraging people to shop local. We've had Shop Local Saturday. What are you telling folks right now as we are a week and a day away from Christmas? Well, half of the jobs in America are uh, people who work for small businesses. That's the case in Cincinnati. It's the case all over the country. And I happen to now be the chairman of the House Small Business Committee, so we're trying to uh, implement policies that, that help small businesses and not hurt them. Uh, after all, about 70% of the jobs created in the American economy today are created by small businesses. So what's good for them is good uh, for all of us. So I would include people, uh, not just the uh, shop at the the big box stores, you know, like Best Buy and Home Depot and, you know, all the other, but also go to your neighborhood small business folks. Um, they're, they're friendly. Um, they're your neighbors. The money stays in our community. Uh, and, and most importantly, it creates jobs locally. And that's really important to Cincinnati. And, and Congressman, what are you going to make at home for the holidays? Uh, we're hoping to make it home uh, tomorrow, although we don't know for sure. We have two big pieces of legislation. Uh, one today is a, a tax relief bill. It's called the PATH Act, which uh, stands for protecting, uh, um, uh, or protecting Americans from tax hikes. Get it, PATH? Um, <laughs> it's got some really good things in there that are important. It makes some of the tax uh, breaks that we've passed in the past permanent. And then there's a spending bill, uh, which probably spends too much money. Uh, however, there are some good things in there, too, like funding for the NIH uh, to try to uh, do things about actually curing diseases like uh, Alzheimer's. Um, it, it spends money for protection against terrorism uh, here at home. Uh, most importantly, it lifts the the oil export ban that's been in place uh, for years where we couldn't export oil uh, to other countries uh, so that rather than just buying other people's oil, we are actually selling it. Again, that creates jobs here in America. All right, Congressman Steve Shabbat, Merry Christmas to you.